In this video, we will review setting up the document output for business processes. Infor Document Management is a central repository for your organization's documents. Infor Document Management has an output management service that you can use to create output documents and search functionality within the content repository. Output Management is designed to help give customers a way to create documents using the Infor Document Management platform. Customers can use pre-delivered templates and combine them with data from Infor Financials and Supply Management to produce PDF documents. Customers can also customize the pre-delivered templates and store those in Infor Document Management for use with FSM. In this video, we will show where the document output templates are located, how to enable them for business processes, trigger a document to be created and sent to IDM, and review the document. We will review customizing a document template in a later video in the series. On this slide, you can view the forms that can be enabled in document management to generate output documents. For this demo, we will just review a couple of the forms, but additional information can be found at docs.infor.com. The IDM output templates are found in the sample document templates. This can be found throughout the many specific roles in FSM but for this example, we will access it through the Application Administrator role. The sample document templates can be found under both the Financial and Supply Management section under Shared Processes. Within this page, the Sample Document Templates tab provides the delivered output document templates that can be used with IDM. IDM email templates help you create a dynamic email content. The sample email templates can be modified to align with your businesses Templates can also be assigned to an output document. In the Fact Sheets tab, you can find useful help in setting up the output documents. Let's take a look at the Billing Invoice Sample IDM Template Fact Sheet. Within the Sample IDM Template Fact Sheets, you will open an Excel document with two tabs. One will display the field mapping information, and the other will provide navigation to download the sample templates and quick instructions on how to enable and use the templates to generate a document in IDM for the type of document you are reviewing. Now that we know where to find the sample documents, let's walk through the setup steps to send the documents to IDM. First, we'll go to Sample Document Templates and find the sample output documents that we want to attach. In this case, we're going to look for the Purchase Order Sample Output Document and the Billing Invoice Sample Output Document. We will click on the blue link and that will save a copy of that to our downloads file. Next, you will need to go to the correct form to configure for IDM. In many cases, this is at the company level, but you should refer to the document type fact sheet for further direction. In this example, we will need to go to the purchasing company and billing company. First, let's go to the purchasing company. Once you have opened the purchasing company field, navigate to the document templates tab. Here, make sure the use IDM template flag is checked. This is where you will assign the output template in the purchase order field. To add a template, click on the search icon. If yours is blank, that's okay. Click on the create to open a new form. In the new IDM template form, provide a name and description of the IDM template. And this is also where you will attach the sample IDM template that you pulled from the shared document templates that we just saw a few moments ago. Once that is complete, save the changes and return to the purchasing company form. Once you have returned, you can refresh the list, select the IDM template you created, and save the changes to the purchasing company. Now that we are set with the purchasing company, let's go to the billing company and see where the setup is done there. In the billing company, you'll navigate to the Invoicing Options tab to check the Use IDM Template flag. Next. Go to the Document Templates tab to assign an IDM template to the billing invoice. If this is blank, you can follow the same steps we did for the purchasing company to create an IDM template to select into the billing invoice field. Now that the IDM templates are set up at the company setup forms, let's see these in action. To create the IDM documents, there will always be a trigger to kick off the workflow and send the information to IDM. In the case of a purchase order, the PO will need to be issued. Here we can see the PO has been released but not issued, and if I open my contextual applications, I can see that there are no documents in the related information app. Now, when I select to issue final, 
This will trigger a workflow to send the information to create a document in IDM. Once the workflow is complete, the document will be available in IDM and I can also see it in the related information app. Moving to the billing manager role, I have a billing invoice in the status of released. Once again, this document has not been sent over to IDM yet. The trigger for this workflow is found in the ellipsis and is labeled generate invoice. Once this is clicked, this will kick off the workflow to send the invoice information over to IDM to create a document, which I will once again be able to see in the related information app once the workflow is completed. Now, let's go into the Infor document management application to search for the documents. Opening the application, I can see these two documents in the recently modified tab. But if this isn't the case, I can use the search document management function to perform a search. First, let's look for a document type of purchase order. Then let's search by the purchase order attribute. Next, I'll enter in the PO number to finally perform the search. My results will display the documents fitting the search criteria, and from there, I am able to view the document or take any other actions my security permissions allow. Following the same methodology for the billing invoice, I can search by the document type of billing invoice, select the attribute of invoice number, and then enter the invoice number to search for that specific document as well. 